book, Life is Good, I chose the passage Thanksgiving from the chapter Gratitude. This passage tells how we are grateful for everything in our life and celebrate it, especially on Thanksgiving Day. Gratitude is showing simplicity in life. In the book, Life is Good, I chose the passage Dear Britt and John from the chapter Love. In this passage, it tells you to follow your dreams. They give you two short sentences with the four same words. Do what you love, love what you do. This is very important to life. If you follow this motto, life will be good. In the book, Life is Good, I chose the chapter Fun and the section Try This at Home. The authors were inspired by Dr. Seuss to believe that growing up doesn't ever have to mean giving up on silliness and fun. I chose this because in my family, we are always joking around and having fun. I chose the passage Good For You from the chapter Fun. This chapter talks about how having fun is good for your health. It is a stress reliever immunity booster, and body rejuvenator. They chose this passage because it shows that optimism is a courage choice. And sometimes recharging your optimism causes you to have a little fun. This relates to my life because when I have fun, it changes my mood completely and cha causes me Look, to be like more optimistic. Said, the most important chat to me was courage. As it shows, not to be upset and try to be happy at all times, no matter what you're going through. Life is Good by Bert and John Jacobs. The authors are trying to make, your, make you face your fears and not run away from them. It's in my life because it helps me through life and tells me not to fear anything. I can always be positive and most importantly, hopeful. You should read the book, Life is Good, because it can be encouraging and can help you through rough times during your life. Peace out. Life, life is, is good. good! Presented by Sophia Dialio, Elizabeth Shannon, and Marie Hardabar. Simplicity. Simplicity is the state or quality of being simple. Sounds pretty simple. However, a definition doesn't define the story of its entire meaning. You have to reach deeper to unveil its true colors. In the story, Chapter Life is Good, it explains what simplicity plays in the authors in our everyday lives by going through experiences on their own. Simplicity exemplifies the clarity of life. It just shows that life should not be so fast-paced and everyone needs a break with a simple life. Creativity. When I think of creativity, I think of an art class, creating beautiful pieces of watercolor painted canvases, intricate details of a drawn charcoal person, magical strokes of acrylic paint across a tarp. In our minds, we associate that we create. Through the eyes of Bert and John Jacobs, they bring us through their journey of how they made one of the most popular uplifting brands in America. They also show us how creativity played an important role in their lives. If you had a piece of paper but no pencil, how would you create your picture? It's like if you couldn't see color, how would you describe the color green? The brand allowed the authors, Bert and John Jacobs, to take everyday passions and dreams and create something magical. Bert and John Jacobs take you on a journey, making you realize how good your life can really be. Eighth graders should read this book because the book exemplifies extensive positivity and powerful determination that creates an optimistic view of life. Hi, my name is Ben Eckstein. I read the book, Life is Good, in a section about compassion. Um, it, teaches, it teaches you like life lessons about how you have to take an account about how other people are feeling and what they're going through in life. And you, you, you put yourself in like their own shoes and it just just teaches you good sportsmanship and throughout your life it just makes you a better person and it just all eighth graders should read it hi my name is nick i read life is good chapter seven compassion and we are one dissection uh this section was mainly about just putting everyone together and making sure everyone's equal <laughs> and you know some sometimes we face stuff that should not be occurring in this world but you know, it's life. We got we got to live with it, and hope you guys enjoy it. See ya. We read the Life Is Good book, and our favorite chapter was humor. In the chapter humor, it also talks a lot about laughter and how it has therapeutic value and promotes overall health and wellness. In the book, it talks about how good laughing is for us. Laughing reduces stress and anxiety, releases muscle tension, boosts our energy, lowers our blood pressure, improves overall cardiac health, and helps us sleep better. It also says how you should share things that make you laugh with other people, like your loved ones, because it like brings you joy. It also says how laughter is important in your life. 
It says it's the quickest and most enjoyable way to positively impact your health. I enjoyed reading this book because it like allowed me to relax. Overall, I really enjoyed this book because no matter what page you turn to, it always has something fun and happy on the inside. My favorite time to read this book was before bed because it was a good way to end my day.